Howdy, howdy, everyone. Gummy Bud here. Welcome back to another Let's Talk, and today we are talking about Insurgency Sandstorm, a video game that is ridiculously realistic in almost every sense of the fucking way. I mean, the first thing that you start to realize that they're doing very realistic is the fucking screaming. Seriously, just shooting people down as it goes. <coughs> It's just one of the most entertaining things that you can possibly do. On top of the fact that you can just shoot someone in the head and their head will just pop off like a fucking toothpaste lid. And I also love shooting shotguns in this game because instead of being point blank range while you try to shoot someone it still don't fucking hit. They opted to basically turn them into sniper rifles. Also, I just want to say that I came across this one part in the game that I don't know if this was a graphical glitch or if someone was actually cheating. Now, one class I didn't much like, surprisingly, was the gunner class. I mean, it's cool and everything, but the recoil is absolutely fucking unreal. And even though I hit that person with ridiculous recoil, you're gonna have to mostly just lug around the ground, just slowly moving. And at one point I tried the commander class, which is fucking awesome, because you get to basically just shoot down airstrikes and missiles at people. But the first time I tried it, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I'm saying affirmative, stop requesting it. <laughs> so I've never used this class, oh shit. But eventually I figured it out with the help of another person. Your commander, could you call some um, artillery in? Do you know how to use the commander role? Yeah, but I thought I had beaten it. Uh, how do I Why call in call like fire strike? Uh, hold down, take out the uh, fucking binoculars and hold down on the left. I'm with you, man. Uh, explosive mortar. I want explosive mortars over there. Outpost, come in. Oh no! Oh my god! They hit. Oh my god! Though, however, in my opinion, the best air strike to call in is a fucking rocket barrage. It's just basically rocket rain. It's just a bunch of fucking fun. Ask for a rocket barrage at that location. Outpost coming. Rocket barrage is needed now at this position. But in order for the commander class to work, you have to have an observer right next to you, which is the oddest thing I've ever seen put inside a game. Basically, you just stand around and do nothing while one guy does all the work while trying to maybe defend yourself. I mean, it's, it's exactly like Rifleman, except you're just gonna be close to the commander when uh, you wanna call stuff in. Call one in real quick. I can't right now, I just called in the gunship. Oh wait, I didn't even have to do anything? Oh man, you just 
gonna stand next to me. And you get free that, kills for it. That is so weird. I mean, you're just gonna stay alive, basically. <laughs> yeah. And of course, if you've already watched my video on Modern Warfare Double, then you already know it's coming. And I just gotta say right now, whenever you explode people with fucking rockets, their limbs will just go everywhere. Got him! <laughs> and the same thing happens with C4, but sometimes you just see someone's body just get fucking launched. And on top of the fact that, yeah, it will also blow them into pieces. We are losing D! Oh, there's somebody. Got him. <laughs> well, I guess no more, right? God, God damn, he oh, went into fucking sorry. pieces. <laughs> uh, I love explosives. So yeah, unlike any other shooter that I've actually played, rockets and C4 do a fuck ton of damage. But however, if you are an explosion maniac like me, you will find yourself blowing yourself up a fuck ton. No, I meant to throw down my C4 and I forgot I had a rocket launcher. I was like, damn, bro, that was a tactical move to get everybody back. One thing I love is that there are a lot of moments where people just knew where I was, but they just kept walking right into my fucking explosives, anyways. Blowing up the same guy twice now. Be in the fucking oh corner with, with the rocket launcher. Station, is the gunship ready? I did have C4, Please. but I used that. And he came up again, so I shot him with the bazooka. <laughs> okay. I love explosives. Hell, there was this guy that blew up so many fucking times, he finally started to get a little smart and started shooting towards my direction, but it didn't work. We have enemy at the e. But then he opted to actually come up with a strategy. I guess he thought it would be okay if he just 
threw smoke grenades and tried to distract me, but in the end, his plan fucking sucked. And for a long time, I didn't even know that there were vehicles in this game until some guy just ran me the fuck over. That guy fucking dropped on me like Bruce Wayne. I think they're on Delta. Ow. Sure. <laughs> I'm my bad, dog. <laughs> now you good. Now, for this part, I didn't know where to put this in the video, so I decided just fucking put it at the end but there's this one guy that ended up going around trying to interrogate all the enemies i think his name was like uno ono what the fuck was his name ono denzo ono, uh, ono denzo what the fuck am i reading well this is a very fun thing that's about to happen No, I don't think these guys are very friendly. No, I don't think they are. Fuck! He's right outside the door. He's coming up on you. So, enemies that are out there, what's your opinion on this war? Why do you fight? You know, I don't think they're in the talking mood. So tell me, Gummy Bud, what's your opinion on this war? Explosives. Good answer. Okay, so I know there's an enemy here, and I'd like to ask y'all one question. Oh dang, there goes my interviewee. Oh, hey, enemy, that's in that room. Do you want to ask, can I ask you what's your opinion on this? You know, I don't think they want to answer my questions. Be real interesting. I am so sorry. Man, these fucking hobbies, they piss me off sometimes. I'll tell you what, goddamn sand nigglets be trying to bomb me. But I'll try to bomb them. You sound real American, I got a question. Enemy, I have a question. What's your opinion on this war? <laughs> Where are you fucking hodging? You know, I think that one guy probably died. You know how these terrorists are, they have to bomb each other and bomb themselves in the process. That's your opinion on this war? I think we should win. Good answer. Very patriotic, I see. Are you patriotic, may I ask? America. I mean, you're fine for it, shit. You know, I think there's a lot of explosives going on up there. I think I'm gonna stay down here. We should be doing the bomb. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Whoever I blew up, I'm sorry, but I blew up the enemy and... Got the guy on the stairs. <laughs> and they got me. 
I'll keep asking them questions till they answer. They ain't gonna stop me. I'll get my interview. All right, time to go back in there. Probably die immediately. Maybe I'll get better interviewees over here. Let me know how it works out for you. <laughs> probably not gonna work out well, but who knows? It may. I don't know why, but it seems like the enemy in every single one of the matches that I've got aren't exactly with the talking type. <laughs> oh, you didn't get your interview. Yeah, no, sadly I didn't get my interview, but don't worry, we have another chance. <laughs> Dude, that was some good sniping, though. Maybe not now they're on the American. Maybe they'll answer my questions then. They don't negotiate with terrorists. Fair, but at the same time, it's not going to stop me from trying. If I tell them I have oil, they may listen. True. Or they'll me faster. I'll tell them I, I like Biden or Trump, or whatever. I'll just ask them what are their political view is, and then... Yeah. I'm gonna hide myself in the best position to keep myself safe. So I can get my interview. Oh wait, stallmate, let's go. Enemies, I got a question. What is your opinion on this war? Well, first of all, it's stalemate, not stallmate. Oh, no. Eh, well, I'm gonna pronounce it how I wanna. Enemies, can, can I ask your opinion on this war and what keeps you fighting? You know, I think they may have died. <laughs> they awesome. might have. That's a bit of a shame. I almost got my answer, maybe. Uh, I'm hit. I'm hit. You know, that one guy was very rude correcting me on how I talk. I talk about as well as a rock. You talk like a stupid bitch. Thank you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't worry, this this building has absolutely no enemies in here. You can rush in here without with a blindfold on, you know. Real safe. Don't worry about it. Hey, at least they actually talked to me this time. So my interviews are going better because I end up on the receiving end of a bullet, so... You know, maybe if I, maybe they'll listen more better if I just throw a flashbang into the room and sneak behind them. Hey, enemies at D, could I ask you to not, like, not be in that? Could you, like, just not take the objective? Can you, like, make it to the living room real quick, enemy? You know, I don't think they're in here anymore. I had a lot of explosives and then, like, no footsteps. Yeah, I started to notice. I gotta get to see. I need more interviews. I may just have to rush in there blindly and actually shut up until <laughs> I get in there. You know, I don't think I want to go near the objective now that there's a helicopter shooting that's not anyone that literally gets in No, it's a negotiation know, helicopter. You know, I don't think that's very negotiative. And, you know, in my terms of negotiation and what I've experienced, that does not look like negotiation. That looks like a war crime. Which Americans are known for their war crimes. Oh, this spot's perfect. I can talk to them here. I'm going to rush into C and see if I can get my interviews. Wish me luck. It did not work out for me. There is one at D though, so I can go talk to him. Okay, so he's in the tunnels. I learned that the hard way. Little late on that information, dickhead. Ooh, finally, I can get to E. Throw a grenade right on the dude. I'm not sure how he died or didn't die. My grenades don't exist apparently. Oh well. I can probably just put this shotgun barrel into his head, hopefully. Or just chuck another grenade in there. No, I think chucking another grenade in there would be a safer option. Hence why I'm gonna try and rush in there with a shotgun instead, because safe options are stupid. You know, I don't think they particularly like me that much. <laughs> no, I don't think they do. I couldn't possibly understand why it's not, it's not like, like I'm carrying, carrying a shotgun, shotgun or anything. Maybe if I put away the shotgun and pull out a knife, they'll be more cooperative. Or just seeing, oh hey there buddy. Could you, like, not shoot me for a second, please? Thank you. Okay, so I got a question. What's your opinion on this war, M4A1 guy? No, no, don't shoot Nate, no. You know, I'm gonna get my interview. I know you're here somewhere. You're gonna... You're gonna answer to my interviews eventually. I know you're here somewhere. Don't worry, I'll find you, and I'm gonna make you answer my interviews. So, enemies, I'd like to ask you your opinion about this war. What makes you continue fighting? What is your view on our side? Get out. Okay, well... Okay, that was not very nice, you know. Could have just stayed back there. You know, your friend made a very dumb move. He tried to push up on me with a go now. That was not very nice of him. So I'd like to ask your opinion about this war now, if you would kindly answer me. No, I'd like it if you didn't do that. That would not be that's not very nice. 
Now, as I was saying, could you please answer my question? It's very important. You know, I'm still alive, don't worry. So anyways, as I was saying, what is your opinion on this war? No, it's, it's a real simple one. one. I can wait. Don't, don't worry, buddy. That thermite grenade's not working out too well for you. You know, those guys are really bad at killing me. I mean, to be fair, I'm only trying to ask them a simple question. I couldn't understand why they'd want to possibly kill me. They really don't like me. Very aggressive men. Don't worry, guys. I'm back. Your favorite interviewer is here. I wonder how annoyed they are by a, you talking and me just blowing them up with C4 every time they enter a room. They're having a hard time killing me, that's for sure. They threw like three grenades and two thermites. And then they keep trying to push me and it's just killing me. So yeah, that was Insurgency Sandstorm. And I enjoyed the hell out of this game. And unlike Call of Duty Double, I will probably continue playing this game. So yeah, if you want to see more gameplay of me just blowing shit up, then I guess comment down below. Hey, I'm gonna see more explosions. I don't fucking know. But yeah, that will be the end of this video. Honestly, I don't know what video to do next. Either Dying Light 2 or Yakuza 4, which is kind of the game I'm playing right now. I also plan on doing a video on Hogwarts Legacy, but that ain't come out yet. But anyways, I hope y'all have a good day. Gummy out.